So with this Sharp GF9191 stereo cassette recorder that I'm working on, also the stereo indicator light is not working. This unit has got like a multitude of problems. I'm moving the, the dial now. I'm turning the knob. You can see the VU meter is moving, but the stereo indicator light isn't working. I don't have an FM generator or anything, so I'm going to do like a ballpark adjustment. I'm going to use the frequency counter that's built into my digital multimeter to do this adjustment. I'm going to hook up my ground of the frequency meter, my the, the frequency meter part of my digital multimeter. It is the TP6 here, test point six, and the other one that I need to hook up to is here is T. TP7 okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything on I should be reading about 19 kilohertz now but I'm getting 20.73 kilohertz which is somewhat too high that probably explains why I not getting that stereo indicator light to turn on I'm gonna go ahead and make the make an adjustment the adjustments right here at R34 and um, let's see what happens okay where is it at right there you can see it's 20.74 kilohertz and I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring it down to 19 I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it with this uh, adjustment. Here's what happened after I made the adjustment. You can see it's working now. I mean, it's just like in ballpark uh, ghetto kind of adjustment, but it works. There's one more last adjustment I'm going to have to do. When I did my adjustment, what I did is I just simply went into an area between stations. Like this is locked onto a station right there. I just went right here is not on the station right, right there. And then I went ahead and made that adjustment for 19 kilohertz.